Hey guys, welcome to another Tribes Ascend update. Today we're going to take a look at the Marksman patch. With this update, we introduce new weapons for the Sentinel, the Pathfinder, and the Soldier. Hey man, the main man, focus. Warte, warte, warte. Vergiss nicht, dass Tribes jetzt auf Deutsch spielbar ist. Kommt und spielt mit, ja? You're right, German. Today we introduce Tribes in German. We should do something about that. Welcome back. As I was saying in this update, we hit the Sentinel, the Soldier, and the Pathfinder. But it's really about the Sentinel. So let's take a look at those weapons. The SAP-20 is a phase rifle variant that requires energy to fire. It deals the most damage of any sniper rifle in base damage, but it has a relatively high refire time. However, the SAP-20 also has the smallest magazine of any sniper rifle, starting with only two rounds. The Accurized Shotgun is a shotgun with higher accuracy and less spread, but it does do less damage compared to the other shotguns. It's a solid addition to the sniper's repertoire and gives him a solid short-range burst option instead of the Sparrow, his auto pistol. Finally, the Motion Mine is similar to the Claymore, but with a couple of key differences. Unlike the Claymore that's limited to a forward arc, the Motion Mine detonates and deals damage in all directions. However, it does have slightly smaller reach than the Claymore, and only detonates when players are going over 120 kilometers per hour. In addition to the Sniper Kit, we've also updated the Pathfinder and Soldier, each with a brand new spin fuser. The Soldier has gained access to the Spare Spin Fuser. It's a new Spin Fuser variant that can be carried in the secondary slot instead of the Thumper or Pistol. It gives the Soldier access to the highly requested Assault Rifle Spin Fuser Combo, or carry double fusers for the lulls. The Pathfinder now has access to the Blinks Fuser, a full 100% inheritance variant of the classic light spin fuser. That's right, for the first time in the history of the four game Tribes franchise, we have a projectile weapon that inherits 100% of your player's momentum. Some players may find this more difficult to use, but for others, it might be just what you're looking for. The Marksman patch also introduces a couple of map changes. We've added a crossfire variant to the Blitz queue, featuring flags at location 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We've also made changes to permafrost, some terrain modifications, as well as changes to the generator and base area. We've added new options for customization. Custom servers now have an option of configurable flag drag settings. Flag drag was a community suggestion around limiting the amount of speed a flag carrier can maintain at very high speeds. We have different default drag rates for lights, mediums, and heavies. However, on custom servers, you can change the speed and the deceleration rate. Also, you can now turn off simulated projectiles in the Settings Gameplay menu, and that will remove client-side projectiles from rapid-fire weapons. These new tracers will more accurately reflect the server location at the cost of a delay when firing. Finally, we've reduced camera shake when you fire rapid projectiles. And of course, there's plenty of other balance adjustments, and you can find those details in the patch notes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online. Prost und tschüss.